Welcome to my tutorial on Photoshop and how to make a broken glass effect around a hot grill. So first of all we're going to load up Photoshop and second of all we're going to come onto the internet and find a picture of a hot grill. This is a perfect one here. Now what you need to make sure is when you're doing this that the background that you've got for the girl that she is uh, on a dark background, it doesn't doesn't work with a light background. So we're just going to go ahead and adjust the just the size of the picture, just to fit our page. So there we go. So we've got our our hot girl. Now the second thing we need to get is do a search for a glass broken glass texture. So here's one I found. And it's perfect broken broken glass and it needs to have a dark background, like a black background for this to work. So we're going to copy that and we're going to paste that into a new layer and just uh, make it a little smaller so we can fit it over. What I'm going to try and do is just aim the aim the actual broken glass area around the girl's face. And you're going to see see why in a minute. So her face is over there, so we're just going to pull that out there a bit. Let's see about here. There we go, that should be perfect. Now we're just going to check that we're in the right place and to use this you can use, to find this out you can use the opacity tool and just uh, make sure that it's looking like that it is on the right place, which it does look like it is. So just bring that back up there. There we go and we'll just apply that. So what we're going to have to do is come up here to the layer and we're going to have to select screen and this gives us the uh, this gives us more of a transparent f showing and as you can see the black background has disappeared and it's replaced with uh, the, the blue background from the original layer I was just going to name this l these layers as we're going along as well name that one the girl the glass. So there we go. We've got our uh, we've got our girl there ready to ready to get the broken glass effect on her. So what we have to do now is come up to the polygonal lasso tool, and we're just going to draw just round our face, just. Uh, like a broken glass effect. Let's just and just follow the the broken lines here. So here we go. Start a spot there. Come over here. Just draw a jaggedy line, jaggedy type line around here. just make this any way you want is just make it so you've got jaggedy edges coming in maybe a couple of jaggedy jaggedy parts coming out maybe one long bit there I'm gonna do come back into our face here Follow this line round here. There's plenty of lines that you can use uh, to help. And come over here and up here, and then finally join onto there. So there we go. Now, all you need to do now to 
get the display of the, the girl's face, it's really easy. If you just hold down the, the Alt key and then you're just going to click on the mask. Whoop, made a mistake there. We should be clicking on the glass here. There we go. You need to make sure that you click on the light the right layer for this to work. So there we go, we've got uh, our mask that we've added on. Just with this button here. Vector mask. But you have to remember to hold down the alt button, that's the important important part. So what do we do now? Alright, well now we've got the shape and the outline, so that's perfect. What I'm gonna do is come back to uh, the browser and I'm going to just try and get a, a, a bit of a misty blue colour which I've looked up. I'm going to paste that as a layer uh, as well onto the onto the image. And just bring the opacity of that down a wee bit. Just so it's, it's just got a bit of a different tinge to the glass. More of a a blue feel to it. So there we go, that looks quite good there. Now, same idea again with the mask, we have to have this bit cut out. So all you're going to do is come down to the glass mask here and just let's pull that down first of all. Pull that down, so that's the second layer. And then apply that there and then hold down alt and click the glass vector mask and just pull that down and that breaks through and gives you a bit more of a, a crisp blue highlight. Let's take that out and just see what it looks like there. So y you can see there without it, glass isn't very well defined around the areas of the face whereas when we put it on we can see it's much more distinctive and we can definitely see that she's looking through some glass. So that's that's perfect, that's just what we need there. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to tidy up the edges around the, the glass. As you can see the edges here are quite smooth, uh, maybe they don't look exactly like glass. So the way that you tidy up the edges around here is you right click on the, the layer, on our blue mist layer and you click blend in options and this brings up a, a dialog box of the layer style so what we want to do first of all you'll see the differences if we add a drop shadow as you can see the top part here we click drop shadow gives a bit more of a, a shadow just a bit of a shadow underneath where the glass is so it looks like there's a, a bit more dimension to the actual picture than what there first is the second thing we're going to have a look at is the bevel and emboss. So we're going to just have a look at that. As you can see, when we click that on, it gives them just as well a bit more of a, a shadow again around the edge. So that's perfect. So we've got that. We've got that there. We'll just click OK onto that. Zoom back out and let's just have a look again. So we can see. There we go, that looks pretty good. So now all you need to do is let's just uh, come up to the, uh, come up to this top layer here, click that, hold down the alt button again and click the click this area here. Now come down here to merge visible and that'll bring up a, a new layer which just combines all the previous layers before. Now what we're going to do with this is we're going to come up to the image, click adjustments and go to the hue and saturation. And this is just something you can use to just change the tone uh, of, the, of the image. So let's just play around with this and just, let's just have a little look here and see, you know, see what, see what different types of styles we can have here. So I'm going to go there like that and we can just brighten this one up a bit as well or darken it entirely up to you I'm just going to go on 
here, like that. Click OK. And there we go. That's how to do our girl behind the broken glass. I hope you like this and if you've got any questions just drop me a message. Thanks for watching.